Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to introduce a data sets. Uh, that is what exactly is a data set? How do we import a data set in Python, uh, which is in a PSV or comma separated format uh, so that you can use that data for building your machine learning models. Okay. So folks, uh, this is Nitin who is uh, determined to uh, democratize the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop and cloud computing to the world. And with this aim, I will be creating uh, the associated content and going to publish periodi periodically and made it available for you. So you can subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates regarding these hottest technologies of 21st century. Okay. And in the previous video, we learned about, uh, uh, you know, how to import the libraries, but we didn't run the cell. So let's let me run the cell first uh, of the previous video. So folks, uh, you can see here, this is the, uh, uh, you know, Jupyter Notebook where uh, we included the import statements. So how do we run it? Either press shift enter, okay, or you can press this run cell button as well. So now you can see that uh, this star here, this means that processing is going on. You can here also see that kernel is busy. So whenever it is a solid circle, that means kernel is busy. Now it is in idle state. Okay, so our statements has been run successfully and without errors. Okay, so let's move on to, uh, you know, this data set uh, topic. Okay. Okay, so uh, according to Wikipedia, a data set is a collection of data and most commonly a data set corresponds to the contents of a single database table or a single statistical data matrix where every column of the a table represents particular variable and each row corresponds to given member of the data set okay uh, member of the data set in question in fact so now we can import the data in python in order to build a machine learning model and for that we might have uh, data in excel format or text format or any other format uh, and that file might be located in specific directory or folder on our system so we can set the working directory by making use of Python's OS module or OS library, which provides a function to change the current working directory. So uh, let's first of all import the OS directory, uh, sorry, OS uh, library. Okay. So we can say import OS. Okay. And then uh, the command to basically um, uh, change the working directory, current working directory is uh, os.chdir. But before uh, moving on to that, uh, let's type pwd. Okay, pwd is to uh, see the current uh, directory path. Shift enter, press shift enter. Uh, okay. So let's type pwd again. So now here you can see uh, when I typed on a single cell, you can see the uh, the current directory path for me is uh, this. But my file is located in the F directory. Okay, so F directory. So I will be I would be using the small customers CSV uh, comma separated values file for uh, the rest of the uh, video. Okay, so since it is uh, located in F drive, I want to change the uh, current working directory first to F drive. Okay, so currently it is C, but I want to change it to F. Okay, so let me change the current working directory, which is uh, the command for that is chdir, and then in the inverted commas you can just mention the name of the directory. Okay, and then press Shift Enter again. So my current working directory has been changed now so now the current working directory if i want to see what it is i can see that it is f drive now and if i want to see the content inside this uh, particular directory i would type the command called ls so list files now i can see that uh, the complete details here right so i have these directories and this is my file this is the size of the file then we have another file sample real uh, real estate data which is again this is the size of the file okay so 
this is the way we uh, basically change the current working directory okay and now uh, uh, we will use as i told you we will use the mall customers uh, csv file for our purpose okay so uh, you know uh, i already imported uh, this particular uh, library called pd pandas uh, import pandas as pd so you know we have to import the data set now so let's make use of uh, this uh, pandas uh, library and here we are going to declare a variable which will store the data set so i will uh, you know later on i will call this variable uh, uh, i mean i can call this variable as uh, data okay so in order to uh, in fact import the library uh, import the data set i would like to uh, say the variable is which will store this data is data okay or let us say data file okay so the variable which will store the entire data set of this uh, uh, mall customer csv file would be data file okay the, and we will then utilize this pandas library and the method is read csv okay so we are utilizing and this is a shortcut as i told you earlier so we will be utilizing this and then read csv and then we will name the name of the file which is mall customer dot csv so our file name is mall customers dot csv and there, this is a csv file so that's why we have used a method called read csv and now when we uh, if you want to see uh, you know a handful of records of this particular data frame okay so i can uh, so this is this is kind of a data frame or a sql type table okay which stores the data the small customers data now i want to see the handful of data uh, observations then the way i can do it is use data file dot had okay so had have what had will do is it will show you the uh, you know handful of uh, uh, observations or records now press shift enter again and now you can see that uh, you know uh, we have five columns here customer id gender age annual income and spending score okay let me show you the content of the mall customer csv file so here you can see that there are five columns shown in this particular csv file it's customer id gender age annual income and spending score and now you, you can see here that it has shown uh, the first five records okay and it is the the, the column name is same column names are same okay and you can see the observations here okay okay so this is the way we do it here uh, and, uh, i mean uh, this is the way we import the data set in file one thing to uh, tell you folks that uh, the indexing uh, the column indexes starts from zero here so the customer id uh, column is represented by index 0, gender is represented by index 1, age is represented by index 2, and annual income is in, uh, represented by index 3, and the spending score is represented by index 4. Okay, and let's move on to, uh, I mean, let's discuss further on this part, like what exactly uh, the, uh, this data set all about, and how can we segregate this data into dependent and independent well, okay so so this is uh, our data and if you want to see basically uh, before moving on to dependent and independent variables let's uh, see uh, if you want to see like number of how many number of records are there in this particular uh, CSV file and number of columns we already know but let us say if there are 100 columns then you won't be you know counting those 100 columns one by one so there is a method uh, which we use uh, called shape okay so we can shape so data file dot shape so sh what shape will tell you is that it has 200 observation that means 200 rows in this particular data file 
or the CSV file and there are five columns. So first entry represents number of observations, second entry represents number of columns. So obviously there are five columns, so it is showing five columns here, okay? So let's move on to um, uh, dependent and independent variables. So in machine learning, we basically have two types of variables, uh, dependent and independent variables. A uh, dependent variable is one whose value is depends uh, on the another variable and the dependent variable represents the outcome or out you know output of whose variation is being studied whereas on the other hand independent variable is uh, the variable believed to affect the dependent variable okay so this is a variable that you uh, that you or the researchers will you know manipulate to see if it makes dependent variable change an example of uh, a dependent variable is uh, how tall you are at different ages. So the dependent variable uh, height depends on independent variable called age. Now in machine learning, we need to uh, decompose uh, the data into uh, you know dependent variable column and a matrix of feature, so, which is nothing but collection of columns other than dependent vector column. Okay. So in our uh, data set, we are going to create a matrix of four independent uh, variables and store it in a variable called X. And we will store the dependent variable column uh, in a variable uh, called Y. Okay. So the way we do, uh, we are going to do that is so let's do it for. Uh, feature matrix so x is our feature matrix which is a combination so let me do one thing so these first four columns would be uh, included in my feature matrix and the sp spending score will be my dependent variable so these four will be independent variables and uh, in fact a feature matrix as a matter of fact and then the spending score is going to be my dependent variable or uh, you know, uh, the one uh, the, we would say uh, dependent uh, vector, okay, because this is only a one column, right? So the way we do it is, uh, so x equals to data set dot i lock, okay, and then in, in the salt brackets, we would say colon. So this first colon represents the number of rows. So if I am mentioning only colon, that means uh, include all the rows, okay? And the second colon uh, is like, after the comma would be the columns. So this represents rows and this represents columns. So since I want to include all the, uh, you know, these first four uh, columns into my feature matrix, so that's why I will mention here as minus one. What that minus one means? So the first col uh, colon before comma, as I told you, depicts rows, which means that we are including all the rows. And colon after uh, comma depicts columns. So minus one uh, means that we will take all the columns except last column. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, so this is the way we do it. And then after that, we will. Uh, mention values okay uh, the values means that we will uh, take the values of uh, this particular uh, data set okay and let me uh, so in order to see the content of this the uh, type x here and press shift enter okay it was data file as i okay now here you can see that it has included the first four columns right the customer id gender age and then annual income and it has excluded the last column as i told you earlier because we have mentioned minus one here right so let me do it for uh, dependent variable which we will call it as y okay. so we will create this vector uh, called dependent variable uh, vector 
and uh, the name which we are going to give this uh, uh, dependent variable vector is y okay and here what we are going to do is we are going to say y equals to data file dot same thing i lock and uh, in fact the uh, syntax is same so here and then i will mention here four okay what this four means is that i want to include only the last column which is the fourth index so index 0, index 1, 2, 3 and because I want the dependent uh, vector uh, which is the suspending score uh, this has index 4 and that's why I have mentioned index 4 here ok guys so let's type Y here and press shift enter again oh my god this is again a typo so data file and now here you can see the value associated with that dependent vector which is score spending score 39816 right 39816 here fine so this is the way we basically uh, you know divide the data into feature matrix and uh, into a dependent variable vector okay so folks, uh, to conclude, uh, you know, I would say that we have learned about what data set is, how we can import a CSV file format, what are the dependent and independent variables, as well as how can we split the data set into dependent variables and a feature matrix containing independent variables. So just a question, if you, uh, if you know any data set which can be used to solve a real life problem, then Please share it in the comment section given below. Okay. Uh, we would like to hear from you, uh, your experiences. And if you're watching this video and you are not a, already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed to our channel, then click on bell icon to receive the notification whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with us guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.